Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by a light harvesting system, a reaction centre and a photosystem. In the last video we saw that photosynthesis consists of two sets of reactions. These are called the light dependent reactions and the light independent reactions. In the light dependent reactions, light energy is used to produce the compounds ATP and reduced NADP. The ATP and reduced NADP are then used by the light independent reactions. And in the light independent reactions, glucose is formed from carbon dioxide. In this video, we're going to start looking at the light dependent reactions. Now, the first key idea you need to learn is that the light dependent reactions take place in the thylakoid membranes. These membranes contain light harvesting pigments such as chlorophyll and a range of proteins needed for the light dependent reactions. So let's start by looking at chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is a pigment which absorbs visible light. There are several different forms of chlorophyll, but we'll be focusing mainly on chlorophyll A. This graph shows how chlorophyll A absorbs different wavelengths of light. As you can see, chlorophyll A absorbs mainly red and blue light. Green light is not absorbed, which is why plants appear green. I'm showing you here a molecule of chlorophyll A in the thylakoid membrane. Chlorophyll A is the central molecule in the light dependent reactions, so scientists refer to chlorophyll A as the primary pigment. The chlorophyll A works with a range of different proteins and other molecules, and together these are called the reaction centre. Now the reaction centre is surrounded by other pigment molecules. These molecules include other forms of chlorophyll such as chlorophyll B, as well as carotenoids and xanthophylls, and scientists refer to these molecules as accessory pigments. Working with a number of proteins, the accessory pigments absorb light energy. The energy is then passed to the chlorophyll A molecule in the reaction centre. Different accessory pigments absorb different wavelengths of light. So by using a range of pigments, this ensures that as much light energy is harvested as possible. Together, the accessory pigments and their proteins are referred to as a light harvesting system. The light harvesting system is also called an antenna complex. Now together, the reaction centre and the light harvesting system are referred to as a photosystem. So to recap, a chlorophyll A molecule and its associated proteins are called the reaction centre. The reaction centre is surrounded by accessory pigments and proteins, which are referred to as the light harvesting system. And together, the reaction centre and light harvesting system are called a photosystem. Now the thylakoid membranes actually contain two slightly different photosystems. These are called photosystem 1 and photosystem 2. Photosystem 1, or PS1, absorbs light with a wavelength of 700 nanometers, whereas Photosystem 2, or PS2, absorbs light with a wavelength of 680 nanometers. We'd be looking at these in more detail in the next video. So as we've seen, when light energy is absorbed, this energy is passed to the chlorophyll A molecule in the reaction centre. Now a key idea you need to understand is that this energy causes a pair of electrons in the chlorophyll A molecule to move to a higher energy level. Scientists say that these electrons are excited. If enough energy is absorbed, then these electrons leave the chlorophyll A molecule, and this process is referred to as photoionization. These electrons are now carrying a great deal of energy. This energy will be used to make ATP and reduced NADP in the light dependent reactions. And we'll be looking at the light dependent reactions in the next video. 